Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Premiere Elements 2024, looking at some of the new features in the program. And in this session, I want to look at quite possibly the flagship feature, the biggest and best feature of the new version, the Color Match tool. Now, Color Match is a way to change the color tone of your movie or your video. It's like a way to grade your video's color, basing it on either a source clip provided with the tool or by using a sample from your own video or photos. And it will match the hue, saturation, and brightness of your source to your completed target movie or to the selective video clips on your timeline. Let me show you how it works. First, we'll use a sample image from the program, and then we'll use as a source a sample from my own video. We've got a short video here of kids riding a go-kart. And I'm going to just drag to select all the clips here on the timeline. Then I go over to the toolbar on the right hand side and I select the toolkit. And from the toolkit, I select the color match tool. Now, as I say, there are two ways to use the tool. You can use it with one of the presets that are provided with the program, or you can use as a source, a clip from your own video. To use one of the samples that are included with the program, all you need to do is click on one of the little thumbnails and you'll see a preview there on the right of what these various color tones look like. Some are a little abstract, some do some interesting color shifting. I found from these source clips here, the best is probably this one here. And this one gives kind of a little purplish bluish look to the image, but it will work for our purposes here. Once we found a sample that we like, we click continue. And then we decide, are we going to apply it to the entire movie or to a selected clip? If you select the option to apply it to your entire movie, it's going to create an adjustment layer, something I don't want to get into right now. So we're going to apply it to the selected clips on our timeline. We can make our own personal adjustments to it down at the bottom of the screen here by adjusting the color strength, saturation, the hue, and the brightness kind of an interesting color tone right there. And if I go up to the top of this screen, I can turn preview on and off and see before and after. And I think we may have made some improvements to it. Click on apply and the effect is applied to your clips. So here's what it looks like now. And if I were to select any clip on the timeline, and go over to Applied Effects here on the toolbar on the right. You'll see that the color match has been applied to each one of the clips and the adjustments to color strength, saturation, hue, and brightness have been made to that effect. I'm going to remove the effect from each one of the clips just by selecting each clip on the timeline and clicking on the little trash can here in Applied Effects. We'll get back to our original video. Now, as I say, there are two ways you can apply color match. You can apply it to those little thumbnails or you can apply it to your personal video or photos. So I'm going to project assets and I have a video clip here of a rainy day. I'm going to drag down to the timeline. We'll close project assets. This is going to be my source clip for the color tone. So I'm going to take this sunny day of kids riding in a go-kart and I'm going to apply a rainy day look to it. Let's see what happens going to first drag to select all the clips on the timeline except for my source clip. So I'm not selecting my rainy day clip, but everything else I dragged over and selected. And then I go to the toolbar on the right, open up the toolkit and open up the color match tool. If I go to the tabs at the top, instead of selecting preset, I'm going to select from timeline. And then all I need to do is just move this little slider to the point in the timeline where we see the rainy day. There's my rainy day. This is the color tone I want to apply to my movie and you see it's already done so. If I look at the monitor panel, I can see that it's drained a lot of the color out of it. It's added, a, it's shifted to more of a yellow and blue. And if I go to the tool here on the left and go to the top of the column, I can turn preview on and off, see before and after. And once I've done that step, I click continue and again, I go to the second screen where I can make adjustments to color strength, saturation, hue, and brightness. Once I'm satisfied with how that color tone is applied to my movie, I click apply and it will be applied to the selected clips on the timeline. And here is my result.
So it's actually a pretty effective tool and you can apply the color tone again from the thumbnails that are provided with the tool in the program or you can use your own personal video or photos as a source for the color tone application or the color match. And that's probably the biggest new innovation here in version 2024. Now, if you want to know more about all the new features as well as some of the old features that are included here in Premiere Elements, I hope you'll check out the many tips and tutorials we have at moviepix.com. If you want to know everything about this program and how to use it, you'll want to check out the moviepix.com guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. That's available at amazon.com. I'm the guy who wrote the book, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.